Well, what do you think, Shirley? What do you think? Hmm? What do you think? <laughs> you think it's done? I think it's done. Yeah. I think it's done. I like the sky. Kind of looks like a winter sky. Focus. I think it's done. <sighs> Had a very productive day today. Hello. You are perched precariously um, on top of a couple of books and that kind of thing because I feel like getting out my uh, my tripod. I hope my air conditioner is not too loud. I'm not turning it off. <laughs> Actually, I can turn it down. Hi there. You are perched precariously uh, on top of a couple of books because I was too lazy to set up my tripod. I feel like it. That's the way that is. Um. So what's new? I got some biopsies done because I have some spots on me that I can't explain. So, but I've done this before, so nothing ever came up. So I'm not too worried. You know, whatever. Um, it's probably nothing. You know, but being fair skinned and getting a lot of burns when I was a kid, because when I was a kid, and yes, I'm an adult, um, they didn't have sunblock. So, yeah. Anyway, what else is new? Um, went to the community dinner and the, the evening service again. We're only doing it once a month in the summer. And that was nice. But that's not really new because I did that last, <laughs> last month. Um, last weekend it was horrifically hot here. It was ridiculous. Which is really unheard of for this area. I mean, it was ridiculous. Like, it was... 41 degrees Celsius. What's that in Fahrenheit? Uh, I'm at my computer, so I'll check. To Fahrenheit, it's 104. And that was before the humidity. So it was about uh, probably 106 with humidity. So it was insane. And there was. Um, like a really bad thunderstorm. One of those really bad but short-lived thunderstorms on the Friday. And me, I ended up with uh, one of my really bad migraines, which usually only lasts about maybe a day at the most. It's usually maybe 12 hours at the least. Uh, I usually feel kind of crappy the next day, but I'm not in any pain. You know, this time that actually lasted for three days. And at one point, I think on the Sunday, I'd run out of because all I take are extra drink Tylenol because nothing else really touches it. Like any of the medications they've tried haven't really worked. Um, or if they do work, they put me to sleep for like 18 hours, which I suppose isn't a bad thing, but what kind of life is that, right? Like you can't. 18 hours. And 18 hours for a diabetic is really bad because you don't eat, right? So your blood sugar drops. Like literally, if I'm out cold for 18 hours, I get to die in my sleep. I mean, you know, maybe it won't be that traumatic, but it's, you know, it's, it's scary, <laughs> right? Um, so yeah, that, that, that doesn't appeal to me. Um, so yeah, I just take extra take Tylenol and I was running out. And it ran out on Sunday and I had to actually beg my mother, my poor mother, 84 years old, and she's still running after me. Anyway, um, I called her up and asked, like, do you have any pain meds? I'm completely out. And she knew what state it was in because I missed church and everything else, which is why I'm glad I went to the service tonight because I hadn't been to church in like two Sundays in a row, both for the same reason, you know. So, so she ran and, and got me some instead of bringing me some curse um, because she didn't really have anything strong enough. Um, but I mean, at that point, anything, just even if it just curbed the pain a little, um, extra state Tylenol, even just taking two of them, doesn't take care of all the pain but enough of it that I can actually get out of bed and, and possibly eat something and, you know, drink something and use the bathroom, you know. <laughs> um, otherwise, I just can't move. 
you know, I'm on my flat on my back in a dark, cool room with uh, with a um, cold compress on my head. So, yeah. But uh, what's really scary is the Monday. Like that, I felt crappy, but I wasn't in as much pain. There was still a little bit behind my eyes. Um, but my memory, my short-term memory, was shot. Like I just, I mean, I you know, it's common to like get up, and go into another room forget what you went in the room for, right? That's really common. Actually, they say it has something to do with the threshold. When you go through a threshold, it does something to your brain. I don't know. But I mean, I would get up to do something, completely forget, and it happened a few times, what I got up for, and never recalled. Like, it just, it just never came back. Yeah, and uh, I would say to myself, I'm going to go do this. And then in the middle of the night, that night, I said, oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> you know, like, it was just, my head was just a disaster. But, I mean, I know that the, one of the neurologists told me that you get small brain lesions when you get migraines, really bad migraines. But what can, you know, they don't offer anything for it. I guess there really isn't anything they can do. And that's the thing, is, like, my dizziness issue, the bilateral vestibulopathy is what it's called, damaged ear canal and um, and the brain lesions um, neither one they can't really do anything for them and um, in my eye issue they can't do anything for that you know and I mean none of these singly are a big deal but all together it's, it's pretty debilitating you know um, but I mean like you know I, I'm not complaining I mean it is what it is like bad genetics, I guess, you know. Um, what bothers me is when other people ask me about it and they think, oh yeah, I can buy things, or oh yeah, but, uh, yeah, I understand. But you, you're not in my body. You don't know what's happening with me, you know. So you can't sit there and say, well, you know, why can't you work? I get migraines. Yeah. Do you get migraines that make you sick for two days and you can't function? Like, you know, do you, uh, do you get so you could pass out in a minute because you're so dizzy all the time? You know, um, what about the days when my digestive issue acts up at the same time as a migraine? I'm completely useless. I can't function. I'm just in a solid wall of pain, you know. Whatever. Like I say, I don't want to complain, you know, because it's like, it is what it is. And I, you know, I deal with it. Um, and I'm tired of seeing doctors who say it's this, and so we try to take care of this, and it's not this. I don't think it's better, you know. Um, you know, and then people ask me, "Well, have you tried this? Tried that?" That's a, that's a good one. They say, "Oh, I tried this. Try that." No, I enjoy being in pain, so I've tried nothing to help myself. You know, <laughs> of course I've tried it. I've tried it all. <laughs> it's not working, and that's life, you know, it's my life, and I, and I will deal, um, I don't know, anyway, whatever, it's almost like it's not worth telling people, you know, but people ask, I don't usually mention it unless people ask, and then I tell them, and you see, you get the sympathy, sympathetic, oh, you know, which is nice, you know, so it's fine, and you get people, oh, you know, I used to get those, I, have you tried this medication? Because what you don't seem to realize is most my migraine medications contain the same medication. They might come out in another brand and maybe have different strengths or different amounts. It's the same meds. It's the same meds they've been prescribing for probably 50 years. Same damn stuff. The only thing they're not subscri uh, pres subscribing, prescribing anymore is things like morphine and that kind of stuff for valid reasons and obviously valid reasons. But anyway, whatever. So, you know, on the good days, I would like today, today was a really good day, yesterday was a really good day. I, um, you know, I go for bike rides, I meet with friend, I, uh, took some pictures, um, doing some crafts, <laughs> and some painting. Um, my niece is getting married, so I have to have uh, an idea for a wedding gift for her. Um, and it's great, I'm so glad she's getting married. I'll probably include some pictures that I took at the wedding when it comes. It's not till September? I think. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. 
Anyway. Uh, but other than that, there isn't too much going on. You know, just a day-to-day -day thing. And uh, trying to be happy and cheerful and upbeat. And for the most part, I am. You know, um, it's only pain now that, that causes me not to be. Um, I'm pretty good. When 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 I'm not in pain, I'm having a good day. And, you know, like last weekend sucked. But this week it's been cooler. It's been really pleasant out. Um, and next weekend it's supposed to be... This is for Wednesday. Next weekend it's supposed to be hot again, but not as bad. Like it's supposed to go up to maybe 30, which is hot, but it's like you can stand it for short periods. You know, so... I take advantage of the nice day to go for bike rides and film and sketch and, you know, live my life. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Kitties are fine. Ratty is fine. Fish is fine. I'm... I'm me. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't think there was anything else. Um... Yeah. Okay. Alright. Have a good day. Or night, or whatever. <laughs>